Action. You've heard a lot about neurotechnologies today. Technology is melting together with our bodies and our brains to make us healthier, to secure our independence, and to make us better humans. But despite the very good intentions of the researchers, I think some people might be a little bit concerned about the negative side effects of these technologies on society and humanity. As a neuroengineer in uh, brain-computer interfaces, I'm very interested in the ethical debate about brain-computer interfaces. And luckily, I've won a Veni Award, so I can, for the next four years I can get involved in the ethical debate. And what I want to do today is to show you how I want to accelerate the debate and to make the debate more practical. Basically, there are three groups of relevance for the debate on ethical uh, brain-computer interfaces. First, there are the philosophers and the ethicists. And they focus on very abstract problems, like how does our consciousness, do brain-computer interfaces extend our consciousness onto machines? And they mostly speak among each other. Second, there is the group of neuroengineers. And they face very practical problems, like how do I get informed consent from a locked-in patient who can hardly say yes and no? And they're mostly not very interested in the abstract problems of the philosophers. And third, there is the general public. They read very wild stories in the newspaper and they struggle to understand what is possible and what is not. They are most often not involved in the ethical debate. They are considered as non-experts and it's said that they are a bit emotional about these issues. These three groups should be speaking to each other. How, how do I intend to do that? First, I'm going to make sure that the philosophers and the neuroethicists uh, and the neuroengineers start to speak to each other and I try to translate their worries to each other. Second, we will translate the worries of the neuroengineers and the philosophers to the general public. But we will do that in a way that triggers imagination and elicits emotions. Emotions are important. Um, we will use play, we will pretend as if the technology is already there in the present. And we'll do that through interactive theatre performances in which, the, um, in which we show what is currently possible and what might be possible in the future. And then I ask the general public for their opinion. Finally, in the end, I hope that we will have a well-grounded ethical debate, which is much more concrete and is, um, um, involves all the relevant stakeholders. Finally, thank you very much.